All right, here we are with another numerical methods problem. <clears throat> Hope uh, you're enjoying numerical methods so far. And if you're not, then I'm here to help. I'll try to make it not suck so much. Okay, so the topic we're looking at uh, today, or the specific example, is with the uh, bisection method. And we want to approximate the root of the function x squared minus 7x plus 4. And we're also given initial guesses, x uh, lower, lower limit of 3 and the upper limit of 10. And we're going to perform four iterations. So sometimes uh, you'll be provided with tables that uh, you can fill out, which are pretty handy to keep track of all your calculations, or you can quickly make this table either by hand or uh, on the computer. All right, <clears throat> we'll get started. And uh, the first step of the bisection method is to calculate. And you're going to do this for each iteration. You're going to calculate your xr value, which uh, I'll write the formula just for reference. It's your lower limit plus your upper limit divided by 2. In this case, pretty simple. 3 plus 10 divided by 2 is 13 divided by 2, or 6.5. And I'll fill that in. Next, we're going to evaluate f of xl and f of xr, so the lower limit and the midpoint, which we just calculated. So f of xl and f of xr are going to be f of 3 and f of 6.5. And if you get to use a calculator, great, punch it in. If not, you're going to have to do that by hand. Sorry. You'll get negative 8 and 0 0.75. And a lot of the times, whenever you have long numbers, you don't necessarily have to write the whole thing. The most important part is the sign. So we have a negative value, positive value. The product is negative. When you multiply a positive and negative number, you get a negative. So record that. And <clears throat> just to remind you, I'll make a little diagram. <clears throat> so this is our range uh, from 3 to 10. And right in the middle, you have the 6.5 xr value. Our range was initially this whole piece, but the bisection method it cuts it in half down the middle and it makes a choice. It's either going to search from 3 to 6.5 or from 6.5 to 10. And that's all based on one thing, the sign, either positive or negative. Positive tells us to search to the right negative tells us to search to the left. So for this, we got negative. So you guessed it, we're going to search to the left in the range of 3 to 6.5. And this will no longer be part of our search. So that also means we're going to reset our limits. So 3 will be the lower limit, and 6.5 will now be the upper limit. So we set our xr value to the x upper value because we got a negative sign. <coughs> All right, and then we'll, for the second iteration, we'll calculate the xr value, which is 3 plus 6.5 divided by 2, or 4.75. And once again, when we evaluate the lower limit, f of 3, get a negative value, f of 4.75, our midpoint value, we get a negative 6.688. And the important part is the signs. 
and the product of two negatives will be a positive value. So we can record that. <coughs> and now this range once again has been narrowed even further. We've cut it in half and the positive sign indicates that we'll be searching to the right. So this is now our new range. So the XR value as you can see is now our lower limit 4.75 and the upper limit is unchanged and now we'll perform the third iteration so our approximation XR is going to be the same as the last two iterations All right, so fill that into the table. And once again, f of your uh, lower limit and f of your xr. So here, that is uh, 4.75 and 5.625. which we get as negative and negative the product of these two is a positive so we're going to fill that into our chart and perform the final iteration and again that positive sign once again changed our range we had it from 4.75 to 6.5 right here and we got a positive sign indicating again to search right so it's even more narrow alright so we'll trash the left side and XR becomes our new uh, lower limit 5.625 we keep the same upper limit and now we calculate our new midpoint our new XR value which is our approximation 5.625 plus 6.5 divided by 2 will equal 6.0625 and we can fill that in 6.0625 and when we do our last evaluation of the product of the uh, lower limit and the midpoint we have f of 5.625 and f of 6.065 as you saw from the last iteration we get a negative value and for f of 6.065 we also get a negative value the product is positive telling us to search to the right and since that was our last iteration our approximation for the fourth iteration is 6.0625 but we did find out the sign so that tells us it's going to be on the right side of the midpoint so in between in between 6.065 and 6.5 you will find our the find the root value and I actually calculated the actual value the root is located at x equals 6.372 which is consistent with this it's in between 6.065 and 6.5 and also another tip when you're doing these, if you have to do it by hand, um, again, pay attention to the, uh, the signs. And you'll notice with each iteration, some of the terms are carried on. So as you notice, you calculated f of 3 to be negative. So in your next iteration, you can just write that down without even uh, touching your calculator. And that happened again here with f of 4.75, negative. 
and in the next iteration we use that again and we also did that with uh, 5.65 so just something to keep in mind when you're doing these you can always uh, do it out if you really want to but when you're in a rush and you're doing these the, the magnitude of the number does not matter strictly the sign because that's uh, what determines uh, the product and yeah pretty much sums it up I uh, hope that helped and thanks for watching uh, crap.